Yeah. This is electronic waste. Our computers, our, our, our extension cords, our cell phones, all these things. Exactly. That, that I've come to find out, the guys that pick up my trash on Thursday, they won't take it, and for good reason. Why won't they take it, and, and, and when you do it, what happens to the product? What happens to this electronic waste? Well, first of all, in California, we're probably the leading entity anywhere in the world on recycling, on setting up new innovations and such. So our e-waste program is different than every other one. So when we're looking at something, California set up a law and said, no, you can't put certain things in landfill. Right. So if you dump it into your recycling bin, or excuse me, into any kind of a bin sure. that's going to go to the dumps and such, even though they may, if you're in an area that says it might separate it, usually it's getting convoluted. It's harder for them to separate it apart. Uh -huh. So it's better to take it to somewhere like we're doing. You know it's completely being dealt with correctly. And the other part, because you were asking me earlier, what makes us different compared to someone else? Yeah. Well, the part that, that does, and we're accountable. We, we actually voluntarily have become certified and such, and that means we get audited constantly. We have so many Fun. reports, tracking, what yeah. do we do with every single thing? So we're accountable. It's not just us saying, yeah, we do the right thing, and, you know, and we throw it out the back door and you right. never know. Right. We're accountable. We have people coming in every year. We're accountable to the state. We're accountable to independent auditors that come in. And you don't pay them off. I mean, they, they find you, they shut you down. Ooh. They do everything to you. That, so. sounds, that sounds stressful. It can Being be, but all it's, these it's awesome. Yeah. It is awesome. So, I, I mean, obviously the issue is taking all these, these, these things and putting them back. I mean, you know, they go into a landfill. That's not good. If no. we can reuse them, that's better. So, so break it down quickly, if you can, of, of what happens to, I give you my, my monitor, my computer today. You guys get rid of it for free. It doesn't cost anything. Where's going to the dump is going to cost you. Um, what, what do you? What's the quick breakdown of it? The easiest way to say it is that, number one, if you've got data, anything that has data on it. So there's some right. printers. There may be cell phones. There's computers. They have data on a hard drive. We take that back to our facility, being, again, certified. We're R2 and ISO 14001. We actually sanitize it. So most of the time it's degaussed. It means it's blown apart. Mm -hmm. There's nothing left on it. It can't be reused. Good. Then the computers, we break them down. So monitor the uh, motherboards, memory sticks, that sort of thing is individual. Most everything else is then taken down to Irvine area. They actually crush it, separate it, get it ready to go back to manufacturers for original components like mm -hmm. plastic, mm -hmm. metals, and such. Then the manufacturers buy that, and we buy it back again the next time around. Well, then to understand it in a full circle, how then can it be free for people today this weekend to go and drop their stuff off? It doesn't cost them anything. Do you get uh, subsidies from the state or the feds? I mean, does somebody must, somebody there must pay you. There is a state because we're a state-approved collector. Again, we are monitored by the state, DTSC mm -hmm. and such. So we need to collect from California consumers. That's where the CRT news stuff comes from. Mm -hmm. There's no fees on CRTs. If you're in Nevada, right. you're going to have a minimal fee because for a CRT. Because you're not a California resident. Exactly. Gotcha. So you're not paying into that program. Mm -hmm. Right. But everything else is just for commodity basis. But as a California taxpayer, this is part of what you're getting. The CRT part, yeah. All the fun that people make of California being in all of its trouble, here's one that you get in it and... Yeah. And it seems when, free. It seems free. When you buy something new, you're paying a fee into right, it. Right. That's right. So that pays into this whole program. When you buy those program. electronics, that's right. Exactly. So that's the, oh, cool. So that's the fee that, exactly. that goes back to it. So, uh, so, so tell people where you're at today and, and how they need to pack. They need to package stuff up. What's no. the best way to deliver it to you? We're, at, we're going to be at the middle school where we have for all these years yeah. and such. We're there from 9 to 3, both on Saturday and Sunday, the 16th and 17th. Mm -hmm. And by the way, if you have a business and you want a business pickup, um, you can call in and schedule it for a Friday, or we can like do it Like if they some need to time. come by here and just go through exactly. pretty much this whole place. Fridays, we, we, we allocate that for just business pickups. Business pickups could be government. It could be a hospital. It uh -huh. could be a school. It could be any kind of entity. If you are also handicapped or elderly yeah. and you can't make it in, call us. Schedule up a pickup. We'll do it for free. And just come by and get it and say yeah. hey. Yeah, and we can take care of it. All you need to do is if you're bringing it yourself, you drive right in. We just look at how much you've got. We've got to do a, a, a 
you know, a log situation, and our guys will take it out in one yeah, minute. Yeah, they're real quick. You just stand back, and they'll deal with it. Mm, so it's not, it's not a big line or anything, and you guys just keep it Typically keep not. It going through. Usually yeah. the most, because we're able to process it fast, it might be at the most, maybe five cars. That's uh -huh. it. Yeah, it doesn't take very long. No, Any, Anything else to let people know? I mean, you're, we told them where you're at today. It's today and tomorrow again? No, it's actually going to be on the 16th and 17th. Oh. I'm here early, oh. two weeks early. Oh, it's not even today. No. Oh, hey, so hold no. up. No. <laughs> okay, so the 16th, 17th, and what days yes. are those? Is that a? That's a Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so, so you're just giving us a heads next up. Next week, the week after. Cool, which is two even weeks. better, especially for the business or someone who's uh, who's older or, or handicapped or yes. uh, disabled, I mean to say. that, that, that Take could, advantage of us. Yeah. You know, we want to help you. We want to be able to get whatever it needs to. And that website right there is uh, um, noewaste.com. No no e Simple as that phone number. Yeah. You'll, you'll, come, so back, you'll come back and promote it again when you come back to town to do this? Yeah, I'm going to double check with you so guys. So what are you doing this weekend? Are you just hanging out and talking, just enjoying, like... Can you believe it? Yes. You're always up here working. I mean, I see you out there working, and you and your husband are, you know... This is the most leisureful weekend I think we're going to have. So you we put you... up the banner is why. Uh -huh. we cool. have to come up And do a, do a quick events. little interview, and then you yes. guys get to enjoy Lake Tahoe. Yeah. Awesome. Perfect. Which well, we enjoy love. the whole weekend. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Electronic Waste Management. No. Ewaste.com? Yes. We'll be right back. Stay with us.